Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Repentance, where today we are going to try to beat Mother as the Tainted Forgotten. Should be fun. I've never done it before, I don't think, so this will be a good first time to try and succeed. I haven't really played this game for a good week, so I'm sure that playing with a character that doesn't play in any real standard way is probably the best way to get back into the flow of things again, I would say. Uh, we don't have to worry about time. Apparently we don't have to worry about consumables either from the look of things, so that's nice. Ooh, it makes my eyes all glowy in the skeleton. That's fun. Didn't actually... <laughs> I don't think I ever actually realized that that item had a visual effect of any kind. <laughs> so that's interesting to know. There's the stars card. This character can go into curse rooms for free, so we will just make full use of that. And yeah, look at that. Use the first key on a golden chest, and I'm not even regretting it. After, like, one room, so it's uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good thing to start your run with, as it more or less guarantees that you're going to get the required consumables to actually win. So, that's looking pretty good. Cannot complain thus far. So, let's just keep going. Not really sure what I would like to have for this run in terms of items, because I'm... Like the regular Forgotten, I don't play this character enough to really have strong opinions about stuff. I don't need Magneto for anything, I don't think. Uh, since I can just fly everywhere, so unlikely that that is going to be relevant. So I'd rather just be in full control of uh, where everything is going. A little bit of a rough start, I suppose, just due to the fact that it means we don't really have a starting item. But, I mean, we did kind of get one from the Cursed Room, so I can't really complain too much at the end of the day. I'm guessing if I just throw the bone, I could just kill that one, right? Yeah, look at that. Now I just have to worry about all these spiders next to me, but... We can kill a couple enemies this way, and... It makes it a little bit easier to navigate the remainder of this room. It can be easy to forget that this character has a charged attack when you're just continuously throwing bones at everyone, but... Occasionally it is useful. A lot of red hearts on this floor. I think there's actually... Two places where the secret room could re reasonably be, and then one that's... Oh, then a couple ones which are a lot less reasonable. I'm kind of hoping that it is over here next to this sacrifice room. I will just quickly check out this place. Uh, it could very well be there as well, though, so... Uh, gonna have to... I mean, I don't have to guess, but I'm gonna guess anyway. I regret my choices. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. I mean, there was the possibility that it was over there, but it just unfortunately wasn't. This boss, not too worrying if we just take our time with it, because he... As long as we're above this rock, he can't actually do anything to us. So I'm just gonna chill here and wait for this boss to be dead. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes these things solve themselves, we get a damage up, so that is lovely. And we can just immediately move on. To the next floor. I'm not really sure why I'm holding a stars card. I, I haven't decided yet if I want to use that on anything. Uh, I guess if our key count doesn't go up much, then that could always be a choice. We could use it to get into our item room for the cost of no keys, so that's kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, especially since we suddenly got a large quantity of money. Might actually be worthwhile to check out the shop rather than the item room, so that's nice. Trying my best to keep these at bay. It would be nice to get Birthright as this character just because it means uh, you'd be able to like summon your body to you and then you don't have to worry about traveling to your body anymore. And it would certainly make things a little bit easier, I would say. So it would be nice if we could make use of that. I'd love to get some bombs. There's a bomb. There's also a map, which I actually really wouldn't mind either. It does make life easier in the long run. I don't know if I should have bought the bomb first just to play it safe, but we're gonna see if I made a mistake later on. I'd like to get this thing out of the way though because I do not trust it. I will certainly run into that even if we have no reason to run back in that direction anymore. <laughs> we'll find a way. I'm sure we will. There we go. This is such a neat character. It's, it's so different from everyone else, you know, and even though it can be a little bit rough to start with, if you can get some stuff going, then he just destroys things so quickly as well. It's just lovely. Haven't visited my item room yet? I'll, I'll think about that for a second. 
I guess this boss isn't too bad, usually. Uh, trying to hit that one fly that's surrounding us, and it's surprisingly difficult. Uh, unless I just throw it at it, I suppose, but... I don't wanna. I'm just gonna focus the boss down. I might, that might actually just work. Or just ignore the fact that the fly is even there to begin with, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you just pretend it doesn't exist, then there's no problems. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd actually kind of be okay with the bomb item, all things considered. What was in here again? One great chest. I'm actually tempted. Ten... I might actually take that, you know. Let's just see if we can get one bomb from this challenge room, maybe? We unfortunately do not have money to buy a bomb right now, because I elected to buy a map instead. Which might end up being a bit of an issue, but hopefully not. Uh, but we might get some bombs from our item room. We might get some bombs on the next floor, at least. It's kind of a shame about those two explodable chests at the end of the day, really, because that was really the main reason why I'd like to have two bombs. <laughs> well, that's how you do it. You just ask and you receive. Uh, I mean, friendly balls kind of neat, but... Uh, a little difficult to use this character. This, I'm not sure. I think the bombs will show up underneath the bones, right? And that actually makes it pretty good. Yeah. Unless I let go of my charge attack and make the bone, uh, yeah, just sort of fly away. But that's not terrible, especially since I'm usually not charging my attack anyway. And if I am, then it'll just drop a bomb next to the bones. So that's, yeah, that's not... Oh, and you get bones from the trinket as well. Or bombs, rather, not bones. <laughs> that's actually amazing. This just means we have, infin like, double infinite bombs then. Uh, because we both have it from the trinket, but we also get it from just the item that's dropping bombs everywhere. So, yeah, that's wonderful. I mean, that at least makes sure we don't have to buy any more bombs, so that's good. Uh, I will just buy the soul heart that's in here, though. And yeah, that's a, that's a not terrible. Not a terrible start in terms of consumables. Ooh. Uh, who's Conquest again? It's the white one, right? And it's a golden trinket as well, which we hadn't seen before. Uh, if I understand correctly, it means we're going to get two flies instead of one per room that we enter, so that's not too terrible either. Yeah, first time I've actually ever seen a golden trinket. I don't actually have it unlocked on my regular save. <laughs> so, fair enough. I'm gonna just risk it. So far, I regret it a bit. Mm -hmm. Not terrible. Health up's a good thing to have in your pool. The tears down is pretty rough, but I mean, if I'm just mostly going to use bomb attacks from this point on, that's not too bad. Um, I guess the stars card is also kind of nice to have for uh, in a little bit. Because if we're playing as the Lost, I can use the stars card to just get my holy mantle back again, so that's actually rather nice. Uh, so, yeah, not too terrible. We immediately get here. We can't... Oh, we can! Okay. <laughs> I was I was about to say, you can't just fly in here as the ghost, right? But apparently, you can. That changes things a bit. I was not aware that that was a thing, but that certainly makes life a lot easier. Uh, well, that so much for my whole... That's why I have the stars card story, I suppose, because that makes it fairly irrelevant. I'm just going to keep risking stuff. Deck of cards, not bad. Ace of diamonds. I still need to get the uh, ace of spades at some point. I realized some time ago and I haven't really done anything with that thought I need, <laughs> I need to actually do that hopefully there's no important things in this room because everything's coins now so far not regretting my choice for just random item choices rather than the ones I can actually see but that is bound to change if I keep doing it <laughs> I would like to try and increase my angel room chances a little bit before moving on. My health is still a little bit on the low side, but not, like, unusable. And we are getting a lot of flies thanks to that trinket, so that is at least working out. Perfect. <laughs> Let me try that again. Just drop a bomb. I'm guessing the butt bomb will probably... Oh, well, they'll at least confuse him. And then I can safely go get my bone friend back again. So all in all, pretty nice. Oh god. Uh, if I don't 
panic, then you do nothing. Right. <laughs> These enemies just do something when you hit them. But there is a lot of gas in this room, and I'm not loving that. But fortunately, the champion is gone. And they also die in one hit, so all in all, not too terrible. There's only so many places where the super secret room can be, I think. Like two from the look of things. One being here and one being here. Hope that's correct. Yes. And, oops. <laughs> and then I don't fully know where the regular secret room is, but I mean, there's only so many places. So you might as well give it a shot. Let's go in here first though. When did I drop my stars card? I guess in the item room. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, do I want decker cards more than wooden nickel? I'm gonna say the answer to that is probably. So let's just leave that there. Decent amount of money to be doing the run with. I kinda didn't even notice that button being there. I guess I'm just gonna try to bomb a couple walls. I mean, we got infinite bombs anyway, so... We got infinite bombs and infinite time, so we really don't need to worry about whether or not we should bomb something. We should just take the time. Because I'd really like to get some more health, and obviously if we could get a secret room item, that would be wonderful. Instead, we're mostly just getting uh, garbage, but that's fair enough. It's all good. Hopefully, we have at least increased our angel room chances to the max. Arguably, it could be a little bit more. If, uh... Oh, he ate the bomb! <laughs> that was a weird little sequence of events. Yeah, we could be a little bit more if we find a judgment card using the deck of cards especially, but I'm not really too bothered. There we go. Only a little bit more to go. Apparently, you cannot hit him when he's jumping. Or at least I cannot hit him when he's jumping. And for me, at the time, that was the important part. Alright, let's go get the key piece. Let's go see if there's something cool in here. We'll just re-enter the room real quick. You never know. Sometimes it feels like you need to re-enter rooms. Probably not this time, though. I might redo the boss fight on the Mirror World as well, especially since we don't need to be the lost, I guess. It's a little bit fiddly to do this fight again as the lost, I would say, just because... Uh, that was weird looking. Uh, just because throwing bones is awkward. <laughs> it's just a little bit of an awkward way to live life, but... With that taken care of, then there's really not that much danger. <laughs> but bombs are great. They're just lovely. They're very effective. I don't like how many tears this place holds. High Priestess? That could be useful against Wormwood, actually. So I guess with that especially, I might as well just go... I panicked. <laughs> I panicked and lost health. That's how it often goes. But yeah, against Wormwood, I'm guessing that pretty much insta-kills him. So that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm just gonna use Butt Bombs again, I think. To get rid of that bastard. Seems to work fairly well. Just add a little bit of confusion to the mix, and before you know it... All the danger is gone. I kind of want to destroy the blue flames in the mirror room as well, but I'm kind of scared to do it on this side of the mirror. Since uh, if we do destroy the mirror on this side, we die. And that's just not great. So I might not bother. Well, let's go give this a shot. I'm kind of curious how much damage this does to Wormwood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's fairly effective. Can't really complain about that one. And we got our tier rate back from the uh, consolation prize there, so not much to worry about. There we go, deck of cards, pretty good item. I really do appreciate it for what it is at times. I wonder if you can become the regular lost if you run into the flame, or if it just does nothing. Holy card, interesting. Does this work? No. Well, I think I have done this in the past, haven't I? Like, they did that? Yeah. You can certainly become the regular loss, it's just... There's no real reason to, I suppose. <laughs> eh, fair enough. Holy I think at the end of the day it didn't really matter because I don't... I think I only took one hit per room. So even if I was the loss, we would have still been okay. But it's just a little bit of fear that's removed from the equation at the end of the day. And that is kind of nice. 
Just gonna keep using butt bombs. I feel like this is fairly safe to do. Um, even on the mirror world. Especially when they're that far into the corner, actually. Uh, not that far into the corner, though. <laughs> I guess if I just do it over there, then that's probably fine, right? As long as I do it carefully, then we should be good. Because I just don't want to die. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> also didn't need to re-throw the uh, bones there, but fair enough. Yeah, kind of a waste. Weirdly low amount of good stuff in those things, unfortunately, but fair enough. I guess I might play the machine for a bit. Also, I guess I'm the lost for a little bit longer now, just because we didn't actually uh, clear a room while we were the lost. So, a little bit of a waste, but fair enough. I can't imagine Pinky Eye being better than what I currently have. Hanged Man is nothing. I might stop at 15 coins. Temperance? I mean, I could blow that up at least. Uh, I do need to be a little careful with this, thinking about it. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. Because <laughs> the one thing I was concerned about, because we are the lost now, if we touch that temperance machine, I'm pretty sure we just die. So I, I'd rather not. I'd rather not be dead. I'm also just going to use regular bombs on this, because if I throw the bones into the hole there, then we just go to the wrong floor, and I don't want to do that either, so... Just a bunch of stuff you need to be worried about all the time. I recall my shop not really having any health, but I'm just going to check that out one more time. I do hope I actually used that holy card. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> it's a little difficult to tell as the loss, because even though... You do, uh, or you already have a holy mantle. Death. Meh. Rather have stars, I think. You already have a holy mantle, so when you use holy card, it's not obvious that it stacks on top of the other, but it, I think it does. And realistically, we shouldn't lose it when we stop being the lost, at least. So it's it's looking okay. It's looking fine. At least this way, I can also just pick a small room rather than a big room to try and do. As long as there's enemies inside, of course. <laughs> oh my god. This entire place is filled with no enemies. What a treat. I mean, I guess we're, if we're the loss, it doesn't matter if we never find an enemy to fight. Uh, I regret my choices of trying to see if the flames would work for some reason, because I clearly already knew whether or not the flames would work, because I've done it already in the past. <laughs> well, we made it through. Everything's fine. Don't like that bone, but fair enough. We are no longer the loss that dies in one hit. We are back to just being a regular cool ghost. And we do still have the holy mantle, so that's wonderful. That is not what I had envisioned. Oh god. This is a mess. Don't like these big little ghosts, even though I could just fly here and be safe. It is just a little bit more dangerous when... Oh god. <laughs> it's a bit more dangerous when they are still alive, I suppose. I wonder if I could take that bomb into the boss room. I probably can, right? Luck up. Luck. A mystery pill. Hopefully it's not a bad trip. Ooh, very good. No regrets. And a little bit more angel room chance once again. Also, you cannot pick up a bomb while you're holding the bones. What happens if I'm holding the bones and then leave... Or not holding it. Hold a bomb and then leave the room. Okay, the bones are just on the floor. That's fair enough. I guess I sort of expected that to be the case, but I wanted to be sure. <laughs> it's uh, it was it was confusing me. It was worrying me. But no more confusion or worry from this point on. Oh, I I like all of this. <laughs> I I would like to buy all of this, please. Also, random soul heart from a fire. That's lovely. Oh. Uh... I'm gonna bet guy get that and then see if we can get some good stuff. I really didn't expect the secret room to be there, but I guess I was expecting it, I guess, to be next to the big room instead, but fair enough. That's pretty good. I'm just gonna bomb this so I don't accidentally give him money. Fifteen coins <laughs> from from that, yeah, yeah, sure. That seems about right, I suppose. Yeah, yeah it's going alright so far. Libra. <laughs> That's a quick choice well made. I mean, 
I'm sure Libra has its moments. And uh, that'll just be the end of that statement. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I have made it work in the past. It's been like a hundred runs ago, but I have made it work once when we had a way to duplicate pills infinitely. Which, I don't know if that still even works. I guess with... Mm, would you still be able to do that, I wonder? It might not be possible, because you no longer can guaranteed create 48-hour energy with the dice, the D1. So I'm honestly not sure if that would still work. Let's just get rid of that. Trying to think, because if is there some way that you could still infinitely recharge items? You could... Well, in a situation like this, if I had jumper cables, I could continuously re-enter a room after killing, like, all but one of the enemies. And then I could slowly but surely recharge stuff to recreate new pills, but even then, it's, it's a mess. You need to get kind of a good pill pool as well. It would certainly be a lot trickier to actually make Libra work now, with D1 not being as ridiculous as it once was. I'm sure there's a way, though. There, there's got to be some way to make Libra useful. <laughs> I mean, it's it's still not, like... Well, I want to say it's still not terrible, but it's really not very good, is it? The balance is just not in your favor at all, so it's just, like, it's a big mess is what it is right now, and I don't care for it. What do we have here? Judgment. Um... I'm pretty sure that's a reroll machine, but I'm just gonna check that. Yeah, it spawns a restock machine. And with a 95% angel room chance, I will actually just take that with me to the boss room, I think. Singe. I don't regret not taking the bomb with me there. I regret losing my holy card in such a way, but yeah, that's fair enough. I don't like Singe very much when I have to deal with what I have to deal with here. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably largely safe, but it's a bit of a mess in a... Come on. There you go. We did get an angel room, unsurprisingly enough. I will just get rid of you. I don't mind getting rid of Little Delirium. I do regret getting Little Loki a little bit. Just a little bit, because... Uh, that is making my bombs move in ways that I would rather not, but, eh, fair enough. Okay, uh, I'm trying to think of a way I can do this without picking up Little Delirium. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the way to do it. It is called having a golden bomb. It's honestly a pretty great strategy most days. I <laughs> also kind of forgot that I had a golden bomb, so I didn't need to, like, use the charge bombs, I suppose, but fair enough. Let's see if this works. It does work. I don't think I really care about... Well, conjoins pretty fun, but I don't think little Loki's part of conjoins, so I don't really care. This might work, but I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna... I kinda wanna see if it works, but let's just reroll it to see if we can find, like, a, the wafer, for instance, for random example. Uh, I don't really care. Ah. I mean, don't hate it. I, the damage up would have been nice, admittedly, but I don't mind how that went. All right, uh, almost full health. We got Wafer, so we're basically immortal <laughs> at this stage. We could even consider a sacrifice room if we really wanted to. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we got going on here, but I that's that's great. That's, <laughs> that's just great is what it is. Uh, let me go get my stars card. There is two chariot cards waiting for us there as well, which could be tempting if we wanted to use a temperance machine for a while, actually, but I think I'd still rather have the teleportation. Next floor, we can try and get the second key piece. We are a flying character, so that should not be any problems at all. Was it, uh, was it this character where I played, like, a whole run? Uh, this route and then just went further down because that's what I wanted to do. I think it was, wasn't it? Because I'm getting, like, big deja vu feelings of... I've already done this once before, and I have, I guess. I just... I just ended the run a little differently. Didn't mean to do that, but fair enough. Holy Water finished it. Emperor card. Uh, Emperor card could be useful, actually, in a bit. 
so that might be useful. Let's deal with you first. My damage is a little bit irritating to work with, but given the amount of defense that we currently have, I'm not really too bothered about it. All in all, this is about as safe as it gets. Wafer is just such a strong item, you know? Suddenly having twice as much health, it's just... <laughs> It just makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Admittedly, we don't currently have, like, full advantage of the twice as much health because everything is already already dealing, like, half a heart of damage at this stage of the game, but... You know, you know. I wonder if you could still soft lock the game by uh, <laughs> throwing this thing into the minecart, but I'm just gonna do it like this and fly in there. Just speeds it up a little bit, doesn't it? I also realized the other day that there is some layouts here where you can actually, where there's actually buttons you can press just for like soul hearts and things. There was like the one big room, the big four slot room where um, you have to like keep continuously blow up rocks as you progress through. Like you, there's just many paths you can take and one of those paths can actually just lead to a button. That just dropped soul hearts for me the last time I did it. I don't know if it always drops soul hearts, but that's pretty useful, honestly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, well, we might get the layout over here, but no, it's a different one. But I wonder if there is more of those rooms where I never really paid attention to it, but they end up being just really, really strong. Also, yeah, just uh, flight. Flight's pretty great during that sequence. It always is. And today is no exception. But let's now clear out the remainder of this floor. Uh, I'm drowsy. I mean, that's not bad. Uh, speaking of not bad... Oh, there's my pill. I, my card, I mean. I <laughs> couldn't see it for some reason. Even though there realistically was only one place where that card was going to be. Because I just picked up that pill. But, like I said, haven't played in a bit and I'm going to use that for every weird choice that I make. <laughs> Chariot card once again. I mean, not terrible, but just not what I'm interested in right now. Curious what this room holds, though. And with the teleportation that I have, didn't mean to pick that up like that, but fair enough. Uh, I guess I might just kill these bosses. They're actually not too terrible. <laughs> I was tempted to just teleport out, but especially if the boss just does that. Like, uh, you know, just gonna throw some bombs at it. <laughs> it's just stuck on the rock. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that one before. Reap creep? Nah. Absolutely not. Um. Ooh, that. Mm. Curious about one very specific thing. Ooh. <laughs> that changes things a bit. That makes sad bombs pretty great if I just use that more frequently. Especially against, like, Reap Creep, actually. Like, I could just throw a bomb in the middle of the room and kill him. Pretty much. Like, that's pretty strong. Um, I don't hate buying Smelter just to consume this trinket, because it is just really nice to have. Uh, was there any other... There wasn't any other trinkets on this floor. 9 volts battery is kind of interesting, but... Not like super interesting, you know? Also, that bat came from PokeGo, which I definitely forgot I purchased. But I did. A lot of spiders. Oh, uh, because I keep destroying pots as well. I'm not even, like, noticing these pots, but they are dropping a bunch of things. We are getting, a, like, a decent amount of bomb effects, though. So it is, it's, like, stacking up on each other pretty effectively. We, we just got the best thing to get out of PokeGo as well, so that's pretty great. We can now take the chariot card. And also this room has some buttons. No, 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 no. <laughs> a troll bomb came out of his sack and I wasn't ready for it. That's a shame. Ah, well, doesn't matter. But I'd say but sad bombs is pretty much just going to confuse all the enemies and then also do decent damage a bit. Admittedly, the butt bombs only appear when I'm using the charged bombs, not all of my bombs, so... It's a little bit unfortunate, but at the end of the day, I think we can learn to live with it. Uh, currently at 11 coins, there was a 9-volt battery for 15. I will blow you up once again. 
or at least make an attempt to. <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it. Do I want the 9 volt battery? It's not bad. What, I want Birthright more. And admittedly, I don't exactly have guaranteed odds of getting Birthright, but still it would be nice to at least try and go for it, you know? Hornfell. Uh, I wasn't sure if that bomb would... Why did the pill drop there? <laughs> not sure what I even destroyed. Was there a mushroom there? I just didn't even notice it. Come on. I mean, I guess there could have been a mushroom there, but I really didn't see it. I mean, as a horse pill, that's actually not too terrible. Also, it goes on for quite a while. <laughs> like, a lot longer than I had expected. <laughs> Let me just re-enter this room real quick. The poop trinket was on the previous floor, I think, so that's unfortunate, but... Maybe we can get, like, a coin or two out of this. Maybe just a bunch of nothing, but still. Horse pill relax. It's surprisingly okay. <laughs> Definitely not something you can rely on, but, you know, it's there. It exists in the world sometimes. And I appreciate that. Um, alright. I'm gonna just re-roll a bit. Like, about four coins worth, I would say. Also, just blow these up real quick. Come on. Give me Earthright. That's also not bad, though. Uh, how many more bosses is that? Like, a lot. It's, <laughs> it's a decent amount, actually. Uh, more than enough, I'd say, to make this worthwhile. So, let's just... Uh, I'll just take that and leave. Yeah, that's too good. That's, uh, I mean, it's not exactly a shame, but it's just, I, I would really like Birthright. <laughs> but there's options, it's just, it gives you so many options, you know? Because they're there. They, they, they're, the options are there, and they, they give it to you. That's just lovely. Another great curse room. I mean, five coins are actually not bad, and then a hundred thousand more coins is also, I guess, pretty acceptable, so... I guess that's okay. Hmm, surprisingly low amount from a gold coin, but, eh, fair enough. It is what it is, isn't it? I can't exactly com complain to get 16 coins in the- f or 15 coins, I guess it was? In the first room of the floor, so... <laughs> I, uh, I'll just take it instead. Bookworm? Yes. The answer to that is yes. Tempted by Book of Shadows. Uh, how tempted am I by Book of Shadows? I do kind of like getting a lot of cards. Book of Shadows is... Uh, it probably works on this character, but eh, I'm just gonna move on. I kind of like getting a lot of cards. I've been having a good time with it, and I don't mind to keep the good times rolling. So that is exactly what we're going to do today. God, these flies are also just insta-killing some of these enemies. It's actually so useful. Just gonna wait for that to clear out. There's a soul heart in there, so I don't mind my choice. No soul heart in that one, but overall, that was a pretty good deal. Especially since we did just lose a heart before that, so it's all in all just pretty nice. Not charging the attack sometimes feels a little odd because I feel like I have to charge all the time to make the butt bombs work, but simultaneously it's not great all the time. It's just a mess, isn't it? I have Book of Shadow or a Book of Question Mark. <laughs> the Book of Secrets? That sounds right. That sounds like an item that's in the game. And that's why I know where everything is, but I really wouldn't mind just trying to get more stuff. Look at that. Ten coins for free? That's lovely. I could destroy a bunch of skulls in that room as well. There's so much money on this floor. Look at that. And a troll bomb. I got 46 coins. And I entered this floor with one. Like, that's actually ridiculous. Fair enough, I suppose, but it's just, it's just unusual. Yeah, sure. Not the best item, but it's a fun one in it. Uh, speaking of fun, this room is pretty cool. 
but also a room that, again, I wouldn't mind having Birthright for. I kind of... I'm just going to run into this. I probably should have done that against an enemy, I guess, because then they turn into gold and you can get even more money. I was kind of hoping to get at least one soul heart out of this. There we go. Two of them, in fact. And that kind of makes that work out. I could have gone to a sacrifice room, I guess, but not on this floor. So that wouldn't have worked as well. Come on. Free entry to the shop as well. I already had a hermit card, but you know, the freer the better at the end of the day. Can I drop you there? Very nice. Come on. It's a little tricky to... Little Loki was a poor choice. It, it's, uh, it, I don't think it was a choice thinking about it, but still, I, I don't fully. I'm not on board. I'm going to put some coins in the donation machine, actually, because there's only one more floor after this. Two luck-ups <laughs> after the first two coins, sure. More angel rune chance, that's not too bad. Although we do have the health to take a double deal right now. But I'd rather just stick with the angel rune, I think, since we did already get a bunch of angel room items out of the way anyway with that restock machine. So we might start getting the really good stuff soon if we uh, get some more angel rooms going. Admittedly, there's only like two more chances, I think, but it's still not terrible. Yeah, this doesn't... I, I wonder if there's a good way to do this, because little Loki is just going to move these bombs all over the place. But if I throw my bomb, or if I throw my bone, then it's also just going to throw it. It's just... Uh, it's a big mess is what it is. I guess one thing I could do is like throw it, grab it, and then throw it again. That didn't really work. There's got to be a better way, says the infirm ver infomercial version of me. That's a surprisingly difficult sentence. But we made it through. We did it. We got three black hearts in the floor where it's really not necessary. Also, I guess if we get a devil deal, then I probably shouldn't have picked all those up. But, eh, it's fine. The siren. Oh, God. I mean, we're... Uh, okay. I mean, I'm making myself a lot less safe by continuously making poor choices, but... Two sad bombs is enough to destroy this. I uh, don't really need health. Empress? That's the red heart thing, right? Two health up and tears up for one minute. It's actually a surprisingly okay card. I feel like... Uh, doesn't that also... I feel like I did more. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of a different car, but wasn't there a card that turns you into like Magdalene or something and uh, gives you that like red heart have the the disappearing red heart effect? I guess it's a different card, but yeah, fair enough. It's decent. It's a card. Not dissatisfied with it. It's not super dissimilar to the regular <laughs> Empress card, I suppose, but so can't really complain. Not bad as a friend. And that is good. I don't care for this too much. Um, I'll do this. Oh god, no, I didn't mean to do that twice. I'm just gonna hope that this friend doesn't ruin my day too much. I think that might be the last one. Look at where these bones are just flying. I'm not sure how he died. <laughs> didn't look like he was about to die from that attack. That's why I teleported back again, but yeah, fair enough. I'll happily take an enemy that just leaves, but it just seemed irregular. In incredibly, I've gone in two directions and somehow I've managed to get lost. <laughs> but it's fine, we're back on track. Everything's okay. I don't like not having a map, it's bad for me specifically. Getting tier 8 as a result, though, I guess that's okay then. Let's deal with these scary enemies first, and then accidentally teleport. Can I not teleport while my bones are on the other side of the teleporter? That's a weird consequence. <laughs> Fair enough, I suppose. It's just odd. Lure everyone to my friend. Because otherwise I cannot really hit them. Come on. Please stop. <laughs> Please. Please just stop. With that nonsense. Strength might be better than Hermit, especially in a bit, because we are about to lose out on ever seeing a shop again. Maybe I should just get strength. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
I kept going into random rooms and now I have to pay for it. That's fine though. Bob's brain's not that bad, especially since it does stay near the bones at least. And I think it also gets sad bomb effects, right? That's not too terrible. Broken modem. Yeah. I should just get this. I, I rarely do, and uh, you know, some, in a run where you get this much health, I should just at least try and have a little bit more fun than I ordinarily do. Let's just get the broken modem and see if it works out. I think occasionally it might give us more consumables, although at this point that's fairly irrelevant. Uh, I genuinely thought I was holding the bones, and I was not. I couldn't go buy that so hard that's in the shop. <laughs> Because somehow that room hit me twice. My damage still isn't like super impressive. It's not terrible, but it's not exactly super high. I think ultimately the strength cart will probably compensate for that for a big bit. Also, those enemies do not do a whole lot when Broken Modem is active, it turns out. Jeez. The tears also disappear. I recall them floating, but then continuing on. And I don't know if that's like a a sometimes thing that the tears just disappear or an always thing now, but if it's always, then that's amazing. So that's why I doubt it. <laughs> oh, but it affects my friends as well. That's not great. Because that brimstone friend was struggling to move for a second there as well. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, but look at that, though. That's a fight right there. Ah. <laughs> um, Hmm. I like both a lot. I don't know what's better here. It might actually be this, you know? Devil deal. I mean, a little bit late to get stuff like this. Both of those are really not that interesting. <laughs> so let's just carefully make sure we don't accidentally fall down the hole. Get ourselves an upside down fool card to make life a little bit more interesting. And I think, once again, the broken modem kind of just destroyed that boss, because the boss got stuck. Yeah, I mean, in my current state, this isn't great, so <laughs> we're just gonna leave that alone. But there are some instances where it would have been nice. If we got it... Um, in a room with a reroll machine, it's honestly pretty great, but as it stands, we were just not really in the, in the right position for that. Um, so let's just try and beeline for the end of this floor, which I'm guessing is in this direction. Odds are in my favor. Maybe Broken Modem is just the best item in the game. Maybe I've just not given it enough thought since I've been hurt by it before. <laughs> but admittedly, that has been quite a while ago, and I wonder if it is just better now. Because it does seem to be working out. It seems to be alright, currently. Unidentified and relax. It's a nice and short floor. Definitely cannot complain. More of these, please. Rot Gut can complain a little bit, but... Again, our little brimstone friend is... making a lot of short work of scary enemies. And we do have flight as well, so... Also, the brimstone friend is just casually walking down the entire time, so that's cool, I guess. Oh, but my uh, my little Itaki friend is struggling here a little bit, unfortunately. That is a bit of a mess, but Bob's brain should be able to deal with this, right? I don't know why Bob's brain keeps going to the right. I'm not attacking in that direction. <laughs> but every time I attack, it just goes up. Oh, because of, I guess because of gravity, right? Yeah, it is gravity. That's a surprisingly irritating boss to fight with this character, as it turns out. Oh, jeez. Oh, we did it. We got hit three times, which is not ideal, but fair enough, I suppose. Um... You. And that's also just pretty great. Alright. That... Uh, is gonna cause a lot of slowdown around the bones. I don't know if it's gonna do much around the ghosts. Probably not, but 
Eh, we got a lot of friends. <laughs> we got a lot of friends on our side, so that's fun. I think the super secret room most likely is also very close to the boss room, so fair enough. This room is also not as scary with flight. Also, I guess we lost our friend. That's unfortunate. Didn't notice that the brimstone friend actually died, but yeah, fair enough. I guess it was fairly horrible terrain. And yeah, there there is the boss room right next to the super secret room right there. It was about as far away from the start as it could realistically be. Just gonna grab this. Bomb through my secret room. We got 12 bombs to use for the boss as well. And with sat bombs, that is honestly not a bad idea. Um, so I'm just going to retain these bombs as much as I can. Use the charge bombs instead. And, before, <laughs> and just teleport to the boss room. I guess that also works. I'm going to do one room just so we can recharge our book and also quickly visit the super secret room. And fortunately not the best trinkets. I don't know how much that would actually do these trinkets specifically, but... Eh, I'm just not that interested. Sure. Death. Let's go. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, strength card, and I'm just gonna drop some bombs all the time and not attack, I guess, because otherwise my bones get thrown around. Also, just having tears uh, all over the place during this fight is pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not super safe. There we go. Phase one down just by using sad bombs. There we go. Run out of bombs, but honestly a pretty good start. Can't exactly complain, but now my bones are a little bit far away. God, weird things are happening during this fight. <laughs> it's a little hard to keep track of everything right now, but we're making progress. We got wafers, so nothing we do really matters <laughs> over here. I just keep swinging me bone around, then we'll be doing plenty of damage. I'm pretty sure that I am immune to damage while the bones have a shield as well, so... Honestly, not a bad deal. Broken modem, I don't know how to feel about it. The, the, during this specifically, a lot of tears are staying in, like, position, and that worries me a bit. But simultaneously, we did just kill this boss very quickly. God, we have eight luck. That's actually <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Tainted Forgotten, what a character, especially when you get Wafer. Especially when you get a whole bunch of explosive nonsense going around, and, uh... Yeah, don't mind it. Fair enough. <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed it. Next time we play, we'll be doing another run with a different character. And I hope to see y'all there. Bye-bye. <laughs>